Welcome! E aí, galera, beleza? Bem-vindo à nossa comunidade. Welcome to our community. Hey, what's going on, guys? It is OGC here. Welcome to today's video. Today, I am super excited because if you have been waiting for the new hero, Solaris, uh, to come out because you are a free-to-play player, he is coming out within the next couple of days. You will be able to get him for absolutely free. So uh, all you guys that waited, you guys are smarter than me. You saved a couple bucks. So congratulations, Solaris will be free in a couple of days. So we have a bunch of things to cover in this video. Uh, when Solaris first was released, before he was even released and we made speculations, we thought that he would be a high damage dealing hero. Well, I was wrong. He is the tankiest hero in the game by far. So I'll show you my build, my setup for him. I'll go over the skills uh, real quick because we've covered it in another video. I'll show you an epic replay where we get insane tanking, not even from Solaris, but from his clone. Uh, and also, Check out this cool artwork. So uh, in this next Lucky Wheel, and I think it's coming out uh, late, later this week, uh, perhaps uh, next week, I, I don't know. I, I gave up trying to track everything. Whenever it comes out, there's going to be a brand new Solaris skin. So look out for that. It almost looks like there's two. So I don't know what's up with that, but we will find out very soon. So let's hop into the game. Let's go over Solaris, and then let's go see in an amazing fight with him. All right, guys, so Solaris is a gladiator, which means he gets all of that juicy gladiator research, which means that he is going to be pretty tanky, but it's not his actual uh, skills or, or uh, abilities. Um, actually, it is his skills uh, and his abilities. It's not his equipment that makes him super tanky. Uh, we'll go over what makes him so tanky, but for uh, items and everything, the biggest thing uh, out of this, I think, is going to be the Molten Set. So getting a three-piece Molten Set, that way you can get plus one to all skills, that's the biggest thing that you can do as far as equipment for your Solaris. Now, as far as Prisms, personally, uh, for somebody that's just a straight-up tank like him, um, I don't put any Prisms on him. Uh, if... if you want to put something on him it because you need it for the first 13 seconds of battle go for it but i find other heroes to benefit from prisms a lot more as far as the artifact you can put on whatever artifact that your heart desires i believe now the edge uh, might be a little bit better for the resurrection rate however i still really don't like putting the edge on him so because of all of that, I am enjoying having the hero duplication artifact on him. Ours is only at three stars. If yours is at one star, this could work for you, although there are plenty of options out there for artifacts. So let's go check out uh, the, the abilities uh, because the rest of the equipment, as far as the weapon, the headpiece, and the armor, do whatever will give you the most amount of stats. Um, I like the Claymore just so maybe he can get a little bit more life leash from, from the attack speed. The armor I go for because it gives me the stats and the, the headpiece, again, it just gives me the stats that, that I want. Uh, I think all of his tankiness comes from his abilities. So with his abilities, he does have the Demon Arm, he, which just uh, lets him switch forms between the, the, the spear. Um, he also has Piercing Attack. So Piercing Attack looks like it should be able to do a bunch of damage. However, it really doesn't. <laughs> uh, we have a Demonic Bite. Uh, this just uh, puts out, out like a, a little dot everywhere. And he has uh, Blood Thirst and Soul Blast. You can go through and check all of these out. The one that I really uh, like and pretty much the only one that I, I would highly recommend to have maxed out if you want to use uh, Solaris to his full ability is going to be Hell's Pardon. So if this is at level 10 because we have the Molten set on him, he's actually going to uh, be pardoned from dying for 13 seconds. During that time, he, he cannot die and he gets a giant life uh, steal bonus. So this right here is the bread and butter of Solaris. Uh, as I said at, at the beginning, I th thought that Solaris would be a high DPS hero. He is not. He is, in fact, the greatest tank. Uh, because for 13 seconds, guys, he cannot die. One of the cool things about this is with his clone, even if you have a one-star artifact uh, for cloning him, it's still 13 seconds that that clone isn't going to die. It doesn't matter if that clone has 500 HP as, as max HP. It really doesn't matter. If you have this at level 10 skill, that's 13 seconds. And there's other things that are similar to this. For example, the two-star Solantris that, that we talk about a lot. The two-star Solantris makes it so that a hero cannot die for 10 seconds once his health drops below 20% or whatever it is. Um, so during those 10 seconds with the two-star Solantris, it, it 
that hero cannot be targeted. Like all of the AI targets everything around that hero. It's as if that hero disappears. Unlike the Solantris, Hell's Pardon for uh, Solaris, he will be targeted. He will be attacked. He can absorb damage for those 13 seconds. And for those 13 seconds, he's not going to die. He's going to eat a bunch of damage. Uh, pretty much if enemy troops start attacking him and like lock on to him during those 13 seconds, that's pretty much a free 13 second stun. Uh, that's that's how I look at it. So um, that is the basics for uh, Solantris. I, ho I hope you guys get him. He will be out. He will be free uh, sometime in the next couple days. I am so excited for everybody to get it. Now let's jump in and I will show you an insane fight where we can really highlight Solantris's uh, ability to tank. So here we are, we are in the dual tower and uh, this is going to be a replay and this is the replay that broke us into the Masters League for this season. So we broke into the 4,000 point range which is uh, the Master League and we're going up against somebody, they have us beat by a little bit of core power uh, and what else is uh, crazy about all of this is they actually won in all four stats. So not only do they beat us in core power, they beat us in all four stats and we were able to win. If you are curious as to uh, how we were able to win, well, let's go check out this fight real quick. Uh, we lost one Sniper, Virian, Bane, uh, Rufio, Gafgar, uh, one Solantris, and uh, our Flores. I'll show you what this fight looked like, then we're going to go see damage received for uh, Solantris uh, because it, it's pretty wild. Um, so we did the right thing and we tagged the, the frontline dragon pr pretty much as instantly as we could. And then we got the, uh, the, the, the Rufio in. The Rufio died. So down here, you can see um, right, around, uh, right around here, you can see uh, that is the reflection of uh, Slanches. And he is just absorbing so much damage. He's, uh, he's standing in, in front of a bunch of snipers. All of the snipers are attacking him. Uh, Ophidia is attacking him. On the other side, there's the other Solantris right there, which is uh, eating up Jax and all of those snipers. So the two Solantris uh, pretty much just absorbed everything from the enemy. It's now 20 seconds into the fight. Both uh, Solantris are, are, uh, are down. I, I, I guess the Reflection one died too, which makes sense. He just ate a ton of damage. And we're able to win. And pretty much all of our other heroes, our, our Denji, our Belrog, our Bazarix, all of our snipers and everything are perfectly fine. So we were uh, outgunned, we lost all stats, and uh, our Solantrises put in work. So if you guys want to see how much work these uh, Solantrises uh, put in, um, let's go check out the damage received. Now damage received is very misleading because clearly Solantris does not have 4 billion health. Um, instead that's just how much uh, straight up raw damage he took before uh, mitigations and before uh, you know like he, he was invincible and just couldn't die again <laughs> but in that whole period of time uh, the reflected one which this is only a three-star artifact like this is a very very weak uh, reflection he was able to absorb four billion damage or just about four billion damage the actual one uh, tanked up half a billion damage if we look at that the reflection the reflection of uh, Solantris, um, the reflection alone taint more than everything else I placed on the battlefield. Uh, more than double everything else. Uh, because even if we if, if we start adding these up, um, I mean, he, he's probably like close to three times the amount of everything else combined. Uh, just from the three star artifact reflection version of him. The reason why is... Uh, because of his Hell's Pardon with that 13 seconds of in invincibility. When it comes to Dwarf on Dwarf Power Side, if you can get uh, your, your Solantrises in, I like to place them on either side of the dragon. Uh, that way the dragon stays back and hopefully the Solantrises run fours. If the enemies start attacking them, it's literally like you're stunning up that entire side. Because a Ophidius along with the Snipers, along with Jax unloading into a Solantris, they are wasting their time. They are wasting a lot of time, especially if it's for that full 13 seconds. That's insanity. So <clears throat> I think for uh, anything that you're going up against their power side, I think that uh, Solantris is great. I think even if you clone it, uh, for, I would not say all fights, but I, I would say uh, depending on who you're going up against, the, the race and the formations of, of the enemies, I think even having two of them is very strong. Personally, I'm loving it. Um, I don't know if that's just me. A lot of people say that they don't have space in their formations. I took Raxius out and I put in the clone, uh, clone Solantris because 
if they don't tag my dragon, then they're just going to start shooting the Slantras. Sure, my Raxias can put out 6 seconds of stun, but my Slantras just ate 13 seconds of their entire army, resulting in 4 billion damage. My, my Raxias cannot pre prevent that much. Now, if you are going up against people that are running Slantrases, the best thing that you can do is tag the dragon and... Uh, the, the Slantrus' Hell's Pardon will just proc from like side damage coming in, like if Ophidia starts attacking it, then I mean it's just going to die and, and get those 13 seconds rolling. Like you, you don't want you don't want the Slantrus to, to be ignored, or uh, Solaris, whatever it is. Uh, you don't want the Solaris to be ignored, but you don't want all of your armies to focus only on that, that hero. So, with that, I love uh, Solaris. I think he is the most tanky uh, hero in the game. Even if you have a one-star artifact for the hero duplication, uh, clearly, as you can tell from up, up there, 4 billion damage tanked, uh, going up against a much stronger opponent. Um, ultimately, that's what helped us to win this fight, and they didn't tag our dragon. Uh, so, insanity. I hope you guys enjoy Solaris. I am so excited for everybody out there to get him. Um, I'm excited for the lucky wheel. Hopefully, we get the skin. And with that, guys, please smash the thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe if you have not subscribed already. In the description of this video and all the videos, we have a bunch of really cool stuff. We have the Patreon page. Thank you to the Patreons out there. You guys are the best. We have the merch store. We have Facebook. We have Discord. We got all that good stuff. Go check it all out, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care, guys.